Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to do a geometric series. When you are given a series, you have to decide if it is arithmetic or geometric. Once you decide if it's arithmetic or geometric, you write down your S, N, N, A and R, which is exactly how you used to do it when we were calculating terms. If you are not familiar with this, you need to go to our previous videos where we had discussed geometric and arithmetic sequences. Once you substitute what you have, you solve. Now in arithmetic and geometric sequences and series, the main confusion comes with the language. Many times you'll read the question, but you are not sure what to do, right? So it is very important that you understand what you are asked to do. Now, let's do the following sum. If they say, calculate the sum of the following series to 11 terms. Right. What are they giving us? We got 0, 0,25, 0, 0,5 and 1. First, you need to decide that it's arithmetic or geometric. So here we've got 5 divided by 0, 0,25 which equals to 2. 1 divided by 0, 0,5 which is equal to 2. We know that it is geometric. Now, if we fill in what we have, we have A is equal to 0, 0,25. We have our R is equal to 2 and we have N is equal to 11. You go to the formula All these formulas are on your formula sheet. It is better to know these formulas because you work with it so often and you do so many examples. You should eventually learn these formulas. But if you don't know them and you are unsure about it, you rather go to your formula sheet and write it down from your formula sheet. Then it's simple substitution. So we've got 0, 0,25, open brackets, 2 to the power 11, minus 1, close brackets, over 2, minus 1, giving us Sn is equal to 511,75. Now, you must be careful as to how do they ask these questions, okay? Sometimes they don't ask it straightforward like this. Let's take the following example. Right, all they will do is, they give you a sigma notation and they say, Determine the following. Now you need to know that a sigma notation means sum of. When you have a sigma notation, the most important thing to do is to write down the first three terms. In this case, it is best to use your calculator. Get familiar with your calculator. You write the formula in and then you by k, we're going to substitute 3. Then you go back. By k, you substitute 4. You go back, you substitute 5. Right. 
right if you are not familiar as to why am i starting at 3 then you need to go back to our video where we discuss the sigma notation then you would understand how i am getting these values so our first term is a half our second term is 5 over 2 our third term is 25 over 2 now we need to decide is it arithmetic or geometric we do the test 5 over 2 divided by a half is equal to 5 25 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 is 5 so we know it is a geometric and our ratio is 5 once you had done the first three terms and you had decided if it's arithmetic or geometric you need to decide how many terms do we have to determine how many terms we have we say top minus bottom plus 1 in this case it's 15 minus 3 plus 1 which is equal to 13 right now you go to the formula and you simply substitute remember you must substitute into the correct formula if you have all the correct t n n s n a e r but you have the wrong formula all your work is incorrect we know it's geometric we substitute the information we have then you use your calculator and you get the following answer again when you're using your calculator remember you must press it in exactly as you see it when it's open brackets close brackets when it's a fraction to get the correct answer thank you for watching